We saw and proved in the last video how the square of any sine of the angle theta plus the square of the cosine of that same angle theta will always equal 1. And that's one of Pythagoras's most simple identities, but now what I want to do in this video is sort of simplify this down to get it in another form that's also recognized as one of Pythagoras's other significant proofs. So what we could do off the bat is we could divide cosine squared of theta of both sides of this equation. So we have sine squared of theta. We could divide this term out by cosine squared of theta. Again, on this side, cosine squared of theta, we could divide that out again. And this simply breaks down to 1. Just remember that over here. And then over here, we have a 1. We could just divide that by cosine squared of theta. Again, applying the power rule from Algebra 1 that you might recognize, sine squared of theta over cosine squared of theta, any real value a squared over b squared will just be a over b, that entire quotient raised to the second power, just a reminder. So this is essentially the quotient sine of theta or cosine of theta all raised to the second power. This is 1, so we don't need to simplify this over here. And again, 1 over cosine squared of theta, this is simply 1 over cosine of theta all squared. Again, if you were to reapply this exponent here, 1 squared is still 1. Cosine of theta squared is still cosine squared of theta. Now, what's interesting here is that we might simplify this down a bit more to really get a firm proof that we could just display in a much simpler form. Now, we, we know that from simpler trigonometry, sine of theta over cosine of theta, that's just simply going to be the tangent function of that same angle theta. And again, we have a square here, so we could just apply that to the tangent function. So now we have tangent squared of theta. This is 1. Again, we're not doing anything to simplify this down any further. Now, 1 over cosine of theta all squared. Now, 1 squared is just 1. Cosine of theta squared is just cosine squared of theta. We don't need to worry about that too much. But what's interesting here is that 1 over cosine of theta. Now we start to, we start to recognize one of the other reciprocal identities that are often come across in pre-calculus. Well, we know that 1 over cosine of theta is simply secant of theta. And we have the square here, so we could just reapply that over here. And here we have it. Just starting from the last proof that we explored in the last video, sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1, we've rearranged it in a form that could also be used just similar to this to solve for a missing trig function or perhaps an angle measure. And this is also very useful in pre-calculus. It's one of the essential ideas that you'll come across when you're solving much of trigonometry.